So it's kind of changing what you were thinking of doing, but I think that is going to be very different and very unique. I think with that idea, you'll probably have to get a bit more research on like getting presenters and all of that, and like more experts to help you with that idea to make it more. Mm -hmm. But I can see that in my head as in as how that would come together and I think that would come together really really well so it's not an unbiased piece it's an, almost like an outright attack on the media and what their yeah. role is okay. so it's quite it's quite an aggressive piece quite a provocative piece but that's a new angle it's not something that's really been explored that much so um who would you like uh like the people who who like experts who would I interview you said a Police officer, yeah. and ask, but, but specifically the people that you said. So you could yeah. you could talk to the person who'd been stabbed. You could talk to the the, the oh, person ask them about and the ask them about that. Right, okay. Talk to the talk to a police officer and ask them what but the media's I role is. I want to ask someone from the actual media. I want to ask them. Do they think they're making things worse? Because obviously, I can show them footage of what I've done and what young people are yeah. saying, and then see whether they do think they're making things bad. Yeah, exactly. Worse. Um, you know, a whole like quite a few box pops in there, maybe two or three sets of box pops. One asking people how they feel about um, how bad knife crime is in London. Another maybe asking people how how they find out about it. Maybe another asking people in an area, is it as bad as it's being reported? Is it worse? What's the role of the media in creating this? That kind of thing. And you might come to the end of it and find out. Oh, actually, no, it was good. it would be like that anyway, but maybe not. And the other thing, in terms of visual style, I see it as being like, um, and this is how you would entertain people, very music video -y, like very sort of kid yeah. hoodie and all that kind That's of stuff. I put in my, I, my outline, I put that I'd use music related to the target audience and yeah. related to my actual subject, my topic, which would be obviously, it's knife, it's knife crime, so it would be quite aggressive. Exactly, and a whole like range of sort of really choppy cuts like really kind of fast paced and things like that not so like almost like a music video yeah. rather than just being like a sort of ch 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 sort of thing all right cool how about you TV because I feel that it's really it's really you, you can get a lot more seeing it visually. Obviously, fashion you get when people the London Fashion Week and stuff. Obviously, you can see that visually. Yeah. Um, I'm focusing my target audience is focused on girls, which is bad because obviously the brief wants male and female, but I have to, I'm going to have to look a bit more into that. Although, guys do like fashion as well, so... They do, and I mean, yeah. you can always, if, if you, you know, there's no reason why you can't do it as well. Yeah. So, I think... But in my idea, I did write that it was for females, so... So, what exactly is your main point? Like, what are you... My main point is yeah. about fashion and celebrities. So why do people use celebrities as fashion icons? Why do people want to dress like celebrities? What what is it that makes them want to do that? What influences them about the celebrity? Is it because they are just famous and they've got loads of money and they feel that if they dress like that they could eventually become that person as well? So then who are you gonna use for your experts? I'd like to go to um oh, I did put I put in my Thing that I could use. I'd like to go to a college in, within Redbridge and go and s interview someone that's um, studying fashion or beauty and get their opinion and see if they feel the same as ha the questions that I'm asking. Like, do they feel that they want to dress up as, as a certain celebrity? Or I haven't got any experts though, so it might do you be think a bit hard. you could use like someone who's in the fashion industry? I doubt it because we don't know anyone. So. I could help you with that. 
I know it seems unlikely, but I think <laughs> one of our best friends at uni, one of our best friends at uni is a fashion designer. She's quite oh, famous no. as well. So. Okay, well there you go then. <laughs> Maybe. Um, because it's, I have um, researched about there's a program called Baby Beauty Queens. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but um, oh, yeah. it's people, it's babies, well, not babies, but children, like from the age of eight, dressing in heels and wearing the most makeup and fake tanning themselves at the age of eight or seven even. And it's like I'm also educating them, even though. Um, educating them not to be um, like that because they don't need to be. And like, is I want to know if it's people's confidence. Is it because they they feel that they don't look good that they need to wear fake tan and makeup? Um, obviously, I understand that from their point of view. Um, educating people by showing them that they don't need to wear makeup and maybe getting that from um, uh, a teacher from a beauty school because there's lots of beauty schools there's a, a, a uni fashion uni in London that I could go to and interview one of the teachers there and see their view on what on maybe that's on that on that specific program and why they are children doing it and educating them not to do it basically what we could go a bit more in depth with it because it relates, it also relates to me because um, obviously I like fashion and I like wearing makeup and stuff. So if it's something I enjoy, I feel like I could go further with it. So could you like, like an idea like Lady Gaga for example, oh, like she be be how, like how she dresses, do you think that could go into your documentary or what do you mean how she dresses? Because she's got like a different type yeah, of style. She's unique, yeah. Yeah. So like do you think like people will dress like her and why they don't dress like her? Do you think that would Um why people don't dress like her, yeah. Because I think she's just <coughs> a, an artist that is quite wants attention sort of thing. And that is her. She's that that's, that shows her character. Yeah. Um, as an artist, whereas people that are not famous, I don't think they'd want to dress like that because it'd look like they'd be quite abnormal. If mm. they came to school dressed like that, I think people would be a bit worried. Mm. So I could, I don't think children would go or teenagers go that far with it, with fashion. But maybe some, pe some people do. Mm. There is some people out there. But um, yeah, maybe if I'm doing like a vox pop or something, I might come up with something. I don't. So they just ask that. Um, I do it by getting a teacher from a uni, a fashion uni, and asking them what they think of the children of that specific program that I mentioned, and, and why they're dressing and uh, um, putting makeup on fake tan. Entertain. I could actually watch. I could record the actual uni and they're having their fashion because obviously they're they, if they're doing a fashion course, they're obviously going to be doing different things in there or going to um, somewhere in Redbridge, a college that do beauty, and watch them doing uh, different beauty things and different people. 